Stand if you think it's you. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, when I go in the elevator, they see the tag, and some folks say, what is that? And so an elevator speech would be needed, uh, 10 or 15 seconds in length. What is Abraham Hicks? You know, if you could put that in one or two sentences. So the question is, what are you doing here? And Who are you? What do you want? Who, you know, what do you represent? Uh, well, what is it? But, but that's a question that you're asking, and we gave you that on the Mexican cruise. Play the tape. Yes. It was really good. Oh, yeah. But, but you're asking a different question here. Yeah, what you're do asking, I tell someone asking, who asks me what, in an elevator? You're asking yeah. what, how can you explain us briefly? Right. And more important, you see, they're not, they're not asking who Abraham is as much as they are asking what you are finding there. In other words, this is a question that is directed to you, not to us. And so if we were standing in your physical shoes, Mm -hmm. this is what we would say. This is an environment, use whatever word you want, a seminar. This is an environment where I explore the art of selfishly devouring the beauty of life. (laughs) Now, that's the right answer, but Uh there are a few things wrong with that answer. In other words, everybody's not going to like it, are they? (laughs) And and a teacher is only as effective as his ability to understand where his student is, Mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm, yes? So, when you use the word selfish, immediately... They think you're doing hedonistic sexual things in here. <laughs> or something. Maybe. So you want to find a word that will resonate with them in a way. And so you look for something that everyone wants that is softer. And so you say, oh, or I'm on a joy quest and I found it. Or um, I'm, dis- I'm discovering the art of living life from a state of joy no matter where I'm standing or what I'm looking at. Or I'm discovering how to tune myself to the best that this world has to offer. And the better job I do of tuning myself, the better job this world has of offering it to me. Mm-hmm. Or, or I come for the fun of it. And boy, am I having fun. Are you? Mm-hmm. That, that yeah. sort of thing. But yeah. before you can exude your, your joy of what you've discovered, mm-hmm. you've got to be there, you see. And, so, and if you are there, the people that Law of Attraction is causing you to rendezvous with right. are either there too and will really get what you say, or there's somebody who's reaching for it. And so not very many words are necessary. Often, right. just a smile, just a, just a sigh of contentment, just a... Oh, isn't this a beautiful day? In other words, we really, really want you to remember that it is not your work to proselytize anyone or mm-hmm. bring them to this yeah. work. Let law of attraction do its work. And you just be the joyful being that you are and let law of attraction do its work. Yeah. And just say whatever comes from your joyous heart through yes. your joyous mouth whenever you feel like it. But in no way try to talk anybody into oh, no. anything. Yeah. We know you know that, but... We just thought we'd throw that in. (laughs) So an elevator ride really doesn't need to be anything more than an elevator ride. Very good. The smile, the smile and the heart say it all very quickly. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Excellent. Yes, indeed. A pleasure. Yes, indeed.